What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're talking more about some upcoming dinos that will be coming out to Path of Titans. Hopefully most of them will come out within this year of 2023. Now I made a video of this in the past where I did a video of 12 upcoming dinosaurs or creatures that will be coming out to the game. And since then they did add four of those creatures recently when Gondwa dropped. So there is eight left that we most likely will see most of them within this year of Path of Titans. This has been confirmed by the devs, so every dino I'm about to mention will definitely be coming out in the future. And then as always, you guys can let me know in the comments which dino you're most excited for and which one you hope that they add in the future that is not on this list. And as always, if you're excited for any new creatures to come out, hit that thumbs up so I guys know how excited you are for the new DLC. So let's start off with the new carnivores. There was two new carnivores that we're still waiting for. We have the Achillobator. Now originally when I seen pictures of the Achillobator, I thought he was going to be one of those small little ankle biters to not really do much and I wasn't that excited, but then I did a little bit more research and noticed that this guy can actually be a seriously threat, a serious threat in this game. So he was actually large and heavy built and he had an enlarged sickle claw on each of his second toes. He was estimated to be 13 to 16 feet in length with a body mass of 364 to 551 pounds. The Achillobator is considered to be one of the largest dromaeosaurs, along with the Austroraptor, the Dakota Raptor, and the Utah Raptor. So even though he was an average of four feet, one inch tall, he still weighed up to at least 550 pounds, which is still pretty big. They said there was some reports that he might even been up to 660 pounds. And I'm sure when this thing comes out, he's gonna be an absolute badass, and I hope they make him as good as he looks. Next carnivore we have is the Micro Raptor. A lot of you guys have been commenting saying you're excited for the Micro Raptor. Um, me, on the other hand, I'm not, I don't really care about the Micro Raptor. I'm not really a fan of those smaller dinos, but he might be the smallest one in the game once they do release him. I don't know how big they're going to make him because we know Path of Titans likes to make some dinos oversized or undersized, but I'm assuming he's going to be one of the smallest. So it's reported that the Micro Raptor was only two feet long and only weighed on average about two pounds. That is very, very small. But they said the maximum length Micro Raptor that they ever found was almost four feet long. So as far as game wise, when it comes to PVP, maybe these things will be a nuisance in packs or you have to really form a big group. But by themselves, I feel like they'll just be more of like how the Struthi is or the Latin just for running around, being a nuisance, maybe a lookout dino, but I hope they don't just give him like one little bite moveset. Like I hope he has some unique movesets at least because they did say they're gonna update some of the combat changes and give some dinos unique movesets that's only catered to them. So hopefully they can do something good when it comes to that. So now we're moving on to the herbivores and there is one herbivore that will be coming out soon. And its name is the Miragea. So the Miragea basically looks like a Stego and a Kentro mix. I'm assuming it's going to be in, the, in between the size of a Kentro and a Stego in Path of Titans. I'm definitely assuming it's going to have some good bleeding attacks as well. So the Maragea was actually a lightweight compared to other Stegos. He was about 20 to 21 feet in length and weighed about 2.2 tons. Although I'll be honest, me personally, I'm not that excited for this guy because when it comes to him, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really play with like the Kentro and stuff like that. But if he is as good as they say he is, he might have some good bleed, hopefully some unique attacks that we didn't see before. But other than that though, it kind of reminds me of a Kentro and it doesn't really feel any special. But if you guys have different opinions, let me know in the comments below about them. Now we move on to the flyers. There are still two new flyers that will be coming out soon. The Ramphorhynchus. Now the Ramphorhynchus looks like a smaller creature, kind of like a bat in a way. So these things were actually rumored to be about four feet long with a wingspan of up to almost six feet. He was also one of the largest pterosaurs known from the Jurassic. So although they may seem pretty small, I feel like these guys are really going to be something to watch out for. And I can't wait to have a small flyer like this. I can imagine how fast he can fly, the abilities he might have, hopefully some unique abilities that the other flyers do not have, and really add more threats in the skies, making you watch over your shoulders everywhere you go because with these guys flying around, you're never going to know what's going to hit you. Next flyer we have is the Hatsagatrix. I don't know if I said that right. I would try my best on that one but this guy is huge possibly bigger than the quetzal if you guys are more knowledgeable in that department is he bigger the same size or smaller than the quetzal from what i've seen it looks like he's a little bit bigger but i may be wrong on that they said his skull was about 9.8 feet long they said his wingspan has been estimated to be 36 to 39 feet that's a pretty big wingspan. It just gives you an estimate of how, how big he really is. But earlier estimates say it could have been up to 49 to 66 feet wingspan. I don't 
of you guys know how big that really is. Imagine in Path of Titans you are running around and you see that thing flying in the air with that big wingspan. That is crazy scary. Out of all the flyers, this one is definitely going to be my go-to flyer. I like the big, I like the intimidating. So I'm definitely going to be playing him a lot when he does drop. Now we moved on to the aquatics. There is three more aquatics that we're still waiting for to come out. We already got one of them. But there's three more, and these actually look way more interesting than the aquatic we have now. First one we have is the Tylosaurus. Now the Tylosaurus, I originally, from the pictures I've seen, I love the look of him. I, I feel like he's going to look amazing when he does come out. So the Tylosaurus actually had 24 to 26 teeth in the upper jaw, 20 to 22 teeth on the palate, and 26 teeth on the lower jaw. Tylosaurus is actually one of the largest mosasaurs of all time. He was estimated to be between 39 to 52 feet long and they could weigh anywhere from 440 to 1,100 pounds. So this thing's clearly going to be no joke. You're going to have to worry about the big flyers in the sky and these big guys patrolling the waters. So you're going to have really your work cut out for you. You're going to have to defend yourself at all times, whether you're on land, in the air, or in the water. This is going to add a lot more intimidation to the map and to the servers, which I really love. Next one we have is the Lead Sickthes, which is a giant whale looking creature. Now they said when it comes to the size of this guy, there was always a wide range of different sizes. So they really estimated that it could have been anywhere from 30 feet to 90 feet long. Now I could be wrong on that. I try to look up an accurate description as far as his length and how much he weighed. So I'm assuming some of you watching this probably have more knowledge when it comes to this guy. So just let me know in the comments the accurate, more accurate number for his weight and his length. So people get a feel of how big he's really going to be when he does come out to the game. And the last aquatic is the Uranosaurus, which pretty much looks like a swordfish in my opinion. Definitely going to be probably one of the quicker ones, probably not that much health, but definitely probably one of the most fun to use. Sadly, I don't have much information on him, so you guys might have to go in the comments and give me some more information on him as well. But based off the pictures, though, he does look really nice, really cool. He doesn't seem that big, so he's more going to be more of an average size compared to the other creatures or dinos. But the potential of moves that they could give him, though, is crazy. So hopefully when he does come out, they make him actually really good. And uh, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to be doing separate videos when he release more information about release dates. And when they actually do come out, I'll do gameplay videos and all that. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. If you have anything to add, add them in the comments below. Let me know what you're most excited for. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.